Alright, the solutions to this tunnel problem were taped by me <laughs> something like three weeks ago. So I hadn't seen any of your solutions yet, but now I have. And I would like to add a few things. Number one, it's very clear to me that most of you simply got the answer from the web. They just give an answer 42 minutes with no explanation or whatsoever. And so, if you really do that, that's okay of course, but that's not what my problem physics are for. It's much better that you don't respond then. Every single problem that I can think of, sooner one or sooner or later, one way or another, you can find on the web. That's the big plus nowadays, that's also the big minus nowadays. It's practically inconceivable to think of a juicy problem that isn't already done on the web. So if you continue doing that with future problems, go ahead, but it's not useful. It's not useful to me, it's not useful to you. It's not useful to people who watch these problems. Because if your answers are correct, and there's simply an answer, like for in this case, 42 minutes, I may even post it or I may not post it. It has no meaning without proper physics background. Okay, so having said that, I'd like to add something quite remarkable, which I really should have added before, but I'll do it now. So let's look again at the solution of the period of one complete oscillation through the tunnel with no friction, no air drag, that period was this quantity, but by capital R is the radius of the Earth, G the gravitational constant, and M is the mass of the Earth. Now, little g, which is 9.8 meters per second square, is also G capital M over R squared. I assume most of you know that. So therefore we can rewrite this as the period for one complete oscillation through the tunnel is 2 pi times the square root of r over g. This r is now the radius of the earth and g is the 9.8 meters per second square. And that is really wonderful. Because we know, or we should know by now, that the period of a simple pendulum which has length capital L and the mass at the bottom of the pendulum has little m, or mass capital M, that the period of that pendulum has nothing to do with the mass, has only the, square, the 2 pi times the square root of capital L over G. So the only thing that matters is the length of the pendulum and of course the 9.8 meters per second squared. And when you compare these two numbers almost get tears in my eyes. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that beautiful the way that physics connects to each other? So, which is by no means trivial, by no means trivial when you start the problem of the tunnel, that you could simply have taken the pendulum, 2 pi square root L over G, and replace the L by a capital R and leave the G where it is. It's by no means, by no means obvious. But that's the way the world ticks. Look at this once more. If you had any sleepless nights, you shouldn't have them anymore. Physics is so nicely connected. Sometimes it's like a dream world. Have a nice day and take care.